So this morning, we have a double pleasure. We have the first grade students doing our Light Up Literacy program, and we have a morning service. So I am going to ask parents, because the kids already know this, to keep their phones on silent and keep them put away. I know that you want to take pictures. I always want to take pictures. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have kids moving all over the room. And so we need to keep all the aisles clear. And everybody wants to see. That's why we set you up so parents could see their children this morning. At the end of the performance, we will give you a chance to, one, do a whole photo op with the class. So you get a, a picture of everybody together. And then we'll give you a chance to take your child up on the beam and take pictures. So know at the end you will have your opportunity. We are also videotaping this. And are we live streaming it? And live streaming it. So that will also be available. So really sit back and be respectful and enjoy this beautiful morning. Cause we got the fire, fire, fire Yeah, we got the fire, fire, fire We're all gonna stay seated and clap We are filming and we are photographing Cause we got the fire And we burning eight nights of something They're gonna see us from outer space, outer space. Light it up. They're burning bright for the human race, human race. When the lights turn down, they don't know what they heard. Strike the match, play it loud, give it love to the world. We'll be raised in hell, shout it up. Great job. We're gonna ask all phones to be down. If your phone is out. Would you please put your yeah, phone and camera burn, down so we can begin? Welcome to our fantastic Hanukkah celebration. Buchim abaim letekes chag a Hanukkah shelanu. Please welcome our head of school, Mrs. Weiser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> In times of darkness and challenge that we have had in our lives, some of our families personally, in our community, today we are all about light. Today we are about the light in our community, the light of reading, the light of literacy, the light of Hanukkah. Today you're going to get a chance to see these students and all of these students demonstrate that they've had a chance to learn deeply, to be creative, and this, ex this morning, experience wholeness to make great happen. Yesterday, I'm at carpool. I open a door. Someone gets out of the car, and the dad says to the little guy as he walks away, make sure to go and make great happen today. And I said, it's sticking. It's actually working. This program shows something I'm very proud of. You will see lots of language and literacy, our support of Guatemala. You will also see a lot of Hebrew this morning. We have done our Hebrew immersion. Our students have come through our Hebrew program. So the authenticness of Hebrew will be alive and well this morning. I'm so proud of our students. I'm so proud of our faculty. Sit back, relax. I'm going to remind you one more time because I see about four phones. We are putting phones really, really away for Shabbat 
and for the program. So I'm going to ask you to do that with me. Sit back and enjoy our program. Welcome. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance in Hatikva. Please face the American flag, right hand over heart. Ready, begin. Please join us for the Baruch Okay, please rise for the Baruch When I say the Shema, I think about my family. When I say the Shema, I think about our beautiful world. Please stand for Shema. <laughs> Shema. 
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Sorry, I'm sitting. Uh, I'm all wired in here. <laughs> so now that we got into the mood of celebrating Shabbat together, we are very excited to transition into our Light Up Literacy component of this morning's assembly because our first graders really love reading. How amazing is this, that our children tell us the narrative of welcoming Shabbat? Our children tell us the narrative of our Light Up Literacy campaign? Our children tell us the narrative of Hanukkah? So with that, first graders, you are amazing, sparkly all over. I was walking down the aisle and somebody here said, this was my line last year. So it becomes part of you. And right here is our sixth grade student council. And I'm going to turn the mic to Jackie Galili, our Tikkun Olam officer. So we have here our next leaders telling you why this is important, why we're here. Good morning, Y School. Thank you all so much for donating to Light Up Literacy this year. Light Up Literacy is so important and our school has been raising money for it for years. Why School understands how important reading and equal education is, and that is why our school works with the Reading Village to ensure an education to the children of Guatemala. Thank you all so much for donating and I'm so excited to see how much money we've raised this year. So do you wanna know how much money we raised this year? So just show of hand, or maybe you're wearing the friendship bracelet. Would you just put your hand up if you brought up any amount? I've heard from two all the way to 200. And together, as a temple, Stephen Wise Temple, Wise School, Early Childhood, Ms. Jen Schenkman, 
CYE, Rabbi Sari Laufer, and Ashley Marks, we raised $3,000 for Light Up Literacy. <laughs> Student Council, how old are you? 11, 11 years of commitment saying, yes, we care. So we have two videos. One that Reading, Reading Village prepared for us, a community that doesn't know us panimul panim, but yet knows us, a community that we might know panimul panim face to face, but we know them and we care, and then a video that Ms. Hoffman and Student Council prepared. Gracias a la escuela guay. Matios Chiriakala Chiriti Gracias a la escuela guay. Thank you, guay. Matios Chiriakala Chiriti Hobash guay. Matios Chiriakala Chiriti Hobash guay. Thank you, do the guay school. Muchas gracias de los niños de la escuela guay. Matios Chiriakala Chiriti Hobash guay.
Speaking of light up literacy, Hanukkah's a festival of lights. Hanukkah, Hakkah, or Empohoshakobalo. We have prepared some Hanukkah songs for you. We will introduce them with a short poem in Hebrew. to please welcome Mrs. Clement to light the Hanukkah. If I can have admin and clergy join us lighting the Hanukkah.
people. So all you with the might that helps us remember the story. The lights of Hanukkah remind us to always be strong, have courage, and sit up for what we believe in. Chag Sameach to everybody. This is such an amazing time of the year because it's when we bring light into our community in the most powerful way. And this year, it's been so beautiful to see the giant Hanukkiah lit up on our new Katz Family Pavilion right out there in Shalom Garden. It's so beautiful. Tonight, we're going to be celebrating as a community. But for me, now in my sixth year at Stephen Wise Temple, Hanukkah also really is connected so closely to our Light Up Literacy Assembly because every year I'm inspired, as I know all of you are, by the songs, the choreography. You guys picked it up this year in terms of choreography. Fantastic job. The fantastic energy and just the pure and sweet beauty that our first graders demonstrate. You know, when we celebrate Hanukkah, Part of the miracle of Hanukkah is the story of the little jar that could, that little jar of oil that was only supposed to burn for one day, but it burned for eight. And it reminds us that if we bring that pure oil of our hearts, the pure oil of our love, the pure oil of our commitment, we can make that Hanukkah, we can make that light shine, we can make the world glow, in ways that will surprise us, in ways that are truly miraculous. It is such an honor to be part of this community and to get to know these first graders. I love seeing them on Friday mornings and every other time I see them on our campus. And it's an honor now to be able to share a blessing. I want to invite Rabbi Noble to come up. I want to invite our rabbinic intern, Brian Zive, to come up. To be your clergy, to be your rabbis and cantors is an incredible zechut, 
a zechut. That means it's a it's an honor. We're lucky, and so it's our joy to be able to offer you our first graders, our entire school, all of our parents, our beloved teachers and administrators, these words of blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine down upon you and be gracious to you. May God grant you peace and fulfillment, our most precious gift. What a beautiful way to bring in the light of Hanukkah, the light of Shabbat, and the light of the blessings that all of you are in our lives. I want to just take a minute and acknowledge all of the wonderful people who made this happen. And normally we just do silent applause, but today we're going to let you applaud. Would our first grade teachers please stand up and be recognized for all that you have done? to make this happen. And our musicians, to our beautiful musicians, I don't know if you can stand or if you're wired, but let's give them a round of applause. You bring light and music into our lives all the time. We are very, very lucky. We're going to have our first grade students and parents that are going to stay in here so we can take some pictures and celebrate. The rest of the school, we're going to be dismissing you by grades. We're going to have a great school day, a good dismissal at 1230, and then a wonderful, well-deserved winter vacation and a great 2018. And we'll see you back here January 2nd to and make great note, happen. Let's have our first graders stand up and take a bow.